Chrissy Russo, I had a lot of fun yesterday, I tell you this. Um, I basically have said I will never go skydiving unless it is with the Navy Leapfrogs, right? So I got the call, I had to say yes. The Pacific Air Show kicks off today in Huntington Beach and I got a once in a lifetime opportunity to experience some of the wildest performances you can see over the weekend. Take a look. The adrenaline rush is like no other. The Navy Leapfrogs are back doing what they love best, prepping for packed crowds at air shows. But first, they get to take up a first timer. I'm still I'm super excited. Good. I know I'm so nervous, but I'm like excited. Okay. From where to put your feet to how to hold your hands, my tandem partner, Navy SEAL Matt, suited me up for my first jump. He's been with the Leapfrogs for two and a half years and was great at easing any pre flight jitters. He told me this is the best thing. Don't worry about landing. You just learn how to get out of the plane first. We'll worry about landing when we get out there. And I'm like, wait, what? And now it's go time. All the way down, 24 miles an hour. Up, up, and away. We're halfway up. How are you feeling? I'm ready to go. No <laughs> turning back now. Matt's in charge yet? It was a quick cruise over the California coastline, getting up to 13,000 feet. And then just like that, we're flying. During the past year and a half, the Leapfrogs have stayed busy performing at sports stadiums and doing special military ceremonies. But this jump is one for the books. It's the first time the team has done tandem jumps onto the sandy shores of Huntington Beach. As soon as I landed, I was hooting and hollering like a, like a madman. I was so stoked to be able to land here and it's, I beyond words really it's it's amazing like it's it's every time we jump somewhere even though the job is tedious and hard like we still get that great satisfaction of like putting on these demos for people and you know really being out here and showing people what the navy's about the beach landing was a favorite for the whole crew and something you'll get to see this weekend if you head up north to the pacific air show the leapfrogs perform daily at 10 and 6 p.m also putting on a show along the coastline the blue angels are back the Super Hornets, the Golden Knights parachute team, and the Canadian Snowbirds, and many more. The last time the team was here was in 2008, so being back in Huntington is monumentous for us, and the, everyone has been so welcoming and so warm to us, and it's, it's just great to be able to feel that vibe here in Huntington Beach, and like being able to be back on the road and do what we do best to show people what Navy Excellence is about, doing parachute demos. In Huntington Beach, Heather Lake, Fox 5 News. Oh my God. Uh, I feel like I my stomach even, is up here watching. I can't even like, watch. Oh my oh, God, Heather. Heather is insane. There's nothing like that. There was this moment too where you hit the ground and you're like, let's do it again. And then you what? walk a little bit and you're like, okay, no, that was good. Not like once in a life. Okay, that's good. I did that. Oh, it was such an amazing experience. You guys, the air show too, because we haven't had Miramar, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. So the Miramar yeah. air show is canceled again this year. So this is the first time that people are really going to get to see um, all of our military servicemen in action. Wow. So if you go out there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, super cool, right in the coastline, and this is the first time that they're getting to tandem jump with, ah, oh. right onto what the beach. What were you thinking in that exact moment? <laughs> You don't think. Oh. Your brain won't let you think right oh. there at that point. It's You're like, no, because leaving the plane, it does not make sense at all, right? right? Kind of Mentally, you're yeah. like, it does not make sense. The most nerve-wracking part literally was waiting on the tarmac to just get in the plane. I was oh, like, can I we just do this? Yeah. Once I'm in the plane, I'm going to be totally fine. <gasps> what were but some of the tricks? So cool. What were some of the tricks? So once we got up there, we actually had two videographers. It was cool because there were two other um, leapfrogs that were videoing us, and then they eventually had to go because they have to pop their parachutes as well. But once we were just floating you're floating there for quite a while and it's so cool because he does kind of these um, acrobatic tricks so you're he's like do you like roller coasters I'm like sure oh my God. <laughs> not maybe that was a little much <laughs> he was spinning me around and doing some really cool stuff that um, you didn't see on video but you know you're, you're floating there for quite a while and I will tell you the accuracy and the precision of yeah. these performers is so cool there was an X on the beach and he said, you want to land there or in the ocean? I said, the act seems good. Oh, I'm, they, <laughs> He's like, the, we can go wherever you want. I'm, I'm glad that leapfrogs got jokes. Yeah. They, they oh, got yeah. jokes. <laughs> the leapfrogs will be here all weekend. They will. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, I would never, I want to. I would never, I do. You can, yeah, I know. I know you do, Raul. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That's incredible. <laughs> good on you. Did you sleep well last night? I bet you did. I bet I you did. It was the night before. Oh, oh, was, oh <laughs> They make you sign all these waivers and you read sure. through them. And and you're like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> all that. All Last that night, I was good. Okay. Unreal. What an experience. Thank you, Heather. Indeed.